Kyushu92 here with yet another One Piece chapter reaction and review. I got something I've been trying out a little bit, and I want to see what your opinion is on it. So let me see about this. Boop! And that's on uh, the video now. So I don't know if having this up in the video is too much for you guys. You guys let me know. For right now, I'm not going to have it up, but that's just something that I can add on to the video now when it comes to my reactions for different things now. I can now put the logos down in the bottom and have it there. During, I don't know if I want to have it there the entire video or just at the beginning. You guys let me know. If you guys don't mind it being in there, then I may do like a trial period where I do like a couple of videos with it on. And if you guys are more used to it, it just being bare like this with no, you know, lingering logos or anything, then that's fine as well. Either way, it works for me. Like I said, as we move into 2020, this channel is going to be improving the way it presents itself. So that way, you know, we can draw in more people and add them to the continuum. So... Let's go ahead and move on to chapter 964, Odin's Adventure. In 963, Odin clashed with Whitebeard. And one significant thing about this Whitebeard that we see is it's Whitebeard in his prime. He is 44 in, in the last chapter, which means he is close to the astronomical size of power that he was in his heyday. And though we know Whitebeard is a powerhouse, he was 72 when he died, but during the Marine Ford War, he showed that he was more than capable with, you know, contending with everyone who stepped to him. This is a Whitebeard who is still in his very significant prime, where his observation hockey is on point, his strength is on point. And then we see all the commanders that are with him that would soon form their own pirate crews, Whitey Bay, you know, Best Bay. Then we got Jozu. We got Fosa, we got everybody, Ipo Ipoida, we got, uh, not Izo, no, because he was still with Odin during the time. We got a young Marco, who was an apprentice at the time. We have Vista, who I didn't recognize at the beginning, but then I recognized him with him because, you know, bare-chested and just hefty. And we, we literally got so many commanders who are there with Whitebeard at the time. And then Odin just runs up and clashes swords with him and says, okay, I just met you. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy. We're clashing hockey. So let's go sailing. <laughs> That's pretty much how it went with Odin versus Whitebeard. But hopefully we get to find out how that clash ends. So let's go ahead and move on with chapter 964 with Gang Beige Oh My Family Volume 14. We're going to infect all of you with the Kiss Kiss Germ. Kiss Kiss Germ. Okay, so the Germ crew that rolled up in Dressrosa since King Riku went to the Reverie, they've pretty much been making their way through all of Dressrosa. And the way they're saying, like, we're going to infect all of you with the Kiss Kiss Germ. Okay, so this is One Piece version of Cooties. Okay, because all the women are running away. And I wonder how they're going to contend with the... Uh, Capone and the rest of his family as they search for Lola. All right, let's go ahead and move on. The tale of Odin continues. <clears throat> I want to adventure out at sea. You cannot do that. Just take me with you. Huh? Weren't you just trying to kill the captain? Yeah, we, we got every all of Whitebeard's crew are arguing with him about why he wants to join the crew. And then we got Whitebeard without his hat on. This is the first time we see Whitebeard. Like, we've seen images of Whitebeard where he had, like, long blonde hair. A giant white beard, but long blonde hair. This is the first time we see Whitebeard without his hat on. Wow. You're not the type of man that'd be content with being a follower. And then Odin flinches. I know what happens when a bunch of folks like that band together. The last crew I was a part of had that frustrating issue. Oh. The rocks. Just set sail on your own. I have attempted it do does I have attempted it dozens of times, but it is no use. I have zero talent when it comes to sailing and navigation. And it, pretty much everyone is just eating. Nekomamushi and Arashi. Everyone from Odin's side and Whitebeard's side are all just having a giant old potluck on the beach. And then we got Kinemon bumping fists with Whitebeard. Yo, you know how 
much street cred you gain when you just casually fist bump with some someone as notorious and as powerful and as legendary as Whitebeard. Just fist bumping him and everyone would think like, him and Whitebeard are tight. We need to hang with that guy. But Kenny Moon is just casually bumping fists with Whitebeard. Whitebeard, leaving Wano happens to be a crime that carries a severe punishment, so... So we're on the same page, then. That's good to know. I have no intention of taking him with me anyway. You did not need to tell him that. I want to go on this adventure whether it is, a le whether it is legal or not. I want to see the world. You think there's only five islands in the world? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Huh? And then we got Marco. Even if you guessed 10 or 20,000, you'd still be way off. Oh, wait. No, this was Marco saying this. You think there's only five islands in the whole world? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Huh? Even if you guessed 10 or 20,000, you'd still be way off. Don't you get it? The world is insanely vast. Yoy. And then Nekomomushi and Inorashi are shocked. There are countless, there are countless islands out there? Two weeks later. Where are you going, Lord Odin? I just want to relieve myself in peace. Stop hassling me. I am a daimyo, remember? A daimyo. Please, go ahead. And this is Izo, just chilling. And this is two weeks later, after the Whitebeard Pirates are gone. And we're back with the Whitebeard Pirates. They're now sail. No, they're sailing away from Wano right now. I feel bad for Odin, but our only option is to sneak off in the dead of night. Oh, they just trying to, they just trying to sneak away because they don't want Odin to be there. If strength and hmm, I feel bad for Odin, but our only option is to sneak off in the dead of night. If strength was all that mattered, I'd have been happy to let him join our forces, but. If I did accept his request, the rulers of the country would probably consider it a royal kidnapping. Dealing with the consequences of that scenario would just be a pain. The treasure they gave us had been stowed away, right? They even gave us food and repair supplies. Then, out of nowhere, like the chain of a Kusarigama, uh, hooks on to one of their masts, and they all get shocked by it. Hey, what's that? I knew you were up to something, Whitebeard! And it's Odin! Literally using a chain to yank himself over to the ship! Okay, now, here's the thing. The ship is far away from the beach. We all know the Moby Dick to be a ridiculously large ship. Yet, in this panel, it is far away from the beach where no average person would be able to pull themselves and launch themselves towards it. Yet, Odin has just literally just spider man his way, just web-zipped his way over to the ship. And then we got Izo. No, I knew you were up to something, Lord Odin, but I am going to stop you. Odin? Oh, so he didn't jump over. He's just letting the Moby Dick drag him through the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, leaving this country is my dream. Please let me join you. Please let me see the world. You must return with me. You are the heir to the Shogunate. And then Marco is holding onto the chain, looking like, what crazy jokers. Well, we'll see you around, Odin. Hopefully you'll float back to shore quietly. Wait, Marco. Huh? Pull up the guy that's holding it back. And only that guy. Yo, this is how Izo joined Whitebeard's crew. Whitebeard's all like, Wait, Marco, don't unchain that. Pull up the guy that's attached to Odin. And only the guy that's attached to Odin. Whitebeard saw the potential in Izo and decided to take him instead of Odin. <laughs> and they go off the waterfall. The water, it's the waterfall! This is no time to be worrying about others. Hold on to the ship! And... Back in Wano, Lord Odin is missing! Whitebeard's ship is also gone! And then we got Denjiro here. And we got Kiku, Okiku, wondering where his big brother Izo is. I cannot find big brother Izo either! And Doggy and Kitty are missing too! And everyone's freaking out. We should not assume the worst. Search for them first! Search the entire country! 
And as the Whitebeards make their way off of the waterfall and go through all the, you know, how do you call it? The, the, uh, all the, the, the way, I'm just going to call it the waves because there's a name for it, but I can't think of it right now. The overlapping waves that are outside of the Wano country and Odin's holding on, but it looks like either his chain snaps or he slips off because then he goes flying. And then we got Izo chained up right in front of Whitebeard and the rest of the crew. Pull Lord Odin up, Whitebeard! He is going to die at this rate! The future of Wano rests on his shoulders! Boy. 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 You saw how many times I turned him down, right? Yet he's still determined to join us and go out to sea. Now we're going to handle this our way. I can't just welcome such a wild person into the crew. He could end up endangering my family. See, even here, Whitebeard considers them family. So one com comment that popped up on the last video I did of One Piece was, who would be the first mate of Whitebeard's crew? And at this point, I pretty much responded with, Whitebeard sees everyone on his crew as family. So I don't think he would post someone as his first mate. So that it wouldn't, you know, like draw ire like, oh, this, he obviously sees this person as the most important of this position. So that's why he's first mate. No, Whitebeard sees everyone equally. So having someone as a first mate would kind of undermine the whole family dynamic that he's got going. He'll have to convince me if he wants to change his fate. He has three days. So he intends to drag Odin through the ocean for three days. And Odin has up until that time to convince Whitebeard that he's worth bringing into his crew. Hear that, Odin? Three days. If you can keep hold of that chain for the next three days, I'll let you join us. And then Odin is, like, coughing up water, and he's all like, Really? And then Whitebeard says, Yes. Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> Young Whitebeard is a sight I will never get tired of. So it's it's all just quiet panels as Odin is being dragged through storms. He's being dragged through giant fish that try to eat him. He's sleeping while he's still holding on to the chain. He's getting beat up by... He, they're going through snow-covered waters and his face and his whole body's getting beat up by icebergs that he's crashing into. And the rest of the crew is kind of worried for him except for Whitebeard because they're all just watching him. Is he still there? He is. The guy's unbelievable. Also, he's so swollen now, it's hard to tell if he's the same person. Don't give up, Odin! You only got one hour left! Hey, isn't it a bit too soon to start rooting for him like he's one of us? Well, after coming this far, don't you think he's pretty much one of us already? Hmm. Margo's got a good point. You can do it, Odin! Keep it up, Odin! Almost there, Odin! You can do it! Hang in there! Odin! 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 You've got this, Odin! And Whitebeard's just looking on in silence. I will never forgive you for making my master go through all of this, Whitebeard. And Izo still has such high regards, continues to have such high regards for Odin so far. Almost there! Keep it up! And Whitebeard doesn't say anything. On a certain island. The way these plants look. The way these plants look. It looks like the same island that Usopp was, you know, slapped to by Kuma. Where he got stronger. Because I see a lot of giant plants here. On a certain island. Why are you running away from us, woman? Yeah, come on. We're not gonna hurt ya. We promise we'll take you to Wano. You're lying! You're just a bunch of human traffickers. St oh! Oh, this actually is a woman. You're just a bunch of human traffickers. Stay back. If you hurt me, my market value will go down, right? I can't believe I was deceived by you villains. How ya naive? How naive of me! A Matsuki Toki. <gasps> Lady Toki! It's Lady Toki! <laughs> Just give up already. There's nothing but ocean between behind you. You've got no way out of this. No, 
There is a way. This is it. I have to leap into the future again. Oh! And then something pops up right behind her. And then they're all shocked. Huh? Yeah! It's Anumi Bozo! I heard a woman cry for help. Oh, is that Odin? Yo, dude's been beaten up so much, he's swollen to the size of a Yokozuna. A monster. And it's Odin, and he falls over. Huh? Did you come to help me? Odin's gone. You were way too harsh, Pops. Darn, he only had ten minutes left. He must have reached his limit. And there's silence on the end of the chain. If he had just shortened it by an hour, he would have passed the test. He was doing so well. Lord Odin! So, the way Odin and Toki meet each other, I knew we were going to come up in a chapter where he finally meets Lady Toki. I was waiting for this. And he ends up staring away the human traffickers that are trying to take her. But during the three days he was sailing with Whitebeard, he got beaten up so much that he's literally twice his size and twice as swollen. It's not fat. It's his body that's just massively engorged from his three-day beating. The following day... Ah, uh, what an amazing recovery. You are human, right? Phew, I guess I lost track of Whitebeard's ship. What a shame. I thought we would sail to all sorts of countries together. Oh well, at least I finally made it out of Wano. My adventure starts on this island. Woman, you took care of me when I was unconscious. Thank you. No, no, I should be the one thanking you. You saved me yesterday. More importantly, did you just say that you're from Wano? Yeah, I had to admit. It is disappointing that the first person that I meet, the first person... I have to admit, it is disappointing that the first person I meet after leaving is not exactly exotically dressed. The truth is, I have always dreamed of going to Wano. Please, can you guide me there? And then Odin's all like, I just came from there. I don't want to go back. His face looks just like this. You look disgusted. Hey, where's that monster from yesterday? All the human traffickers are back. That's the woman, Captain Karma. We'll leave it to you, Captain Karma. This looks like someone who sailed with white... This looks like someone... This looks like the you, the dude that sails with white beer as one of his uh, command... One of the affiliated crews, or one of his commanders. Because he's got the octopus on his head. And multiple arms. Octopoda Pirates Captain Karma. Is that our bodyguard or something? Well, whatever. We'll just sell them both. Six arms? How interesting. We never had anyone like this back in Wano. There are too many of them. We should flee. And then, before anything is said... Captain Karma is knocked down by Whitebeard himself. And Oda can Odin can only look on in shock. Ah, it's the Whitebeard Pirates! Get on board, Odin. Huh? Huh? But I let go of the chain. You let go of your ambitions for the sake of a woman in need. Seems like you're surpri Seems like you're surprisingly soft, huh? We're going to reward you with the adventure of a lifetime brother see yo do you realize how significant this is with whitebeard calling odin brother he's not just calling him like one of his sons or like one of one of his other family members but brother like hand in hand brother i have never seen whitebeard reference or call anyone this at all it's always been sons or daughters or members of his families but brother is the first time i've ever seen this mentioned by him for real whitey chan yeah, it just says whitey chan in this whitey chan it just says that in this one particular translation odin we're happy for you welcome aboard pop sure gave you a hard time huh hey Wait, Inuarashi, Nekomamushi, what are you two doing here? We figured that you wouldn't stop until you got on the ship, so we stowed away and waited for you, Lord Odin. Hey, I found some stowaways here! You said you would never forgive me, right? 
So what, are you going to throw me overboard now? <laughs> if I feel like it. And this is the first time he actually does his laugh since we've seen him. This is official. And who are you? My name is Toki. I want to go to Wano. And then no, then Whitebeard gives him that same exact, gives her that same exact disgusted little like, Ugh. You look disgusted too. Then please just, then please just let me stay. I'll do whatever you want. As you wish. And then they run into an, it's an enemy ship. Wait, Odin, we haven't even looted them yet. And Odin completely cleaves this ship in half. He just all like, okay, enemy ship. Cuts the ship in half. We haven't even le we haven't even looted them yet, Odin. What are you doing? It's pretty much. This is what Whitebeard said when it came to him being a wild card. Enemy ship, cut them in half. They had loot. Oh, my bad. And then they come to some place. It's got Yari on the front of it. It's weird. What is this place? I've never seen a building like that before. And then he just goes off by himself. Wait on and we need to scout things out first. Until then, I had never really experienced what this world had to offer. I had never encountered such coldness or such warmth. And then he gets frozen solid on a snow planet. He gets set on fire on a snow planet. Uh, I've been playing too much No Man's Sky. He gets frozen solid on a snow island. And then he apparently gets so hot he gets burnt literally set a flame on a desert island then there are giant plants that want to eat them a plant a planet that a planet why do i keep saying planet i got, i must got that game on the brain the plants the animals there's a giant plants that want to eat them and giant koalas that are kind of getting mad that he's trying to climb on top of them and then giants are they on elbaf he is huge the people and then it has Whitebeard fighting people. Stay back. The power. The ideologies. Everything It was so different. Day by day, I opened my eyes more and more. Everything had surpassed my wildest fantasies. I realized that I was just a tiny speck in this world. And then it's got the whole Whitebeard crew just being jovial and just enjoying themselves. My age? I'm 26. But I was born about 800 years ago. Yo! And then everyone's laughing. On a sea like this, anything can happen. Oh, one, and then it's saying One Piece will be on break next week. It will resume in Weekly Shonen Jump issue number three. But we still got more stuff. Anything can happen. We're going all out, but the newspapers keep focusing on Whitebeard. It seems like their latest recruit is a crazy samurai from Wano. And who is saying all this? Nobody else but Buggy. With Shanks right next to him. And can you guess where we're going to right now? <sighs> so, a samurai's escaped from that isolated country. I want to meet him. And we've got Gold Roger. The legend continues to unfold. And this looks like a Gold Roger when he's much younger as well. Because his mustache isn't as huge. The great pirate Gold Roger! So a samurai escaped from that isolated country. I want to meet him. Yo, we're gonna come up to the point where Roger meet when Odin meets Roger. Okay, so much has happened during this chapter. Let's go. This is chapter 964 end. Let's go ahead and run through this because this video has been going on for quite a while now. Just me geeking out over everything. Ah! This chapter was amazing. <laughs> so, Odin wants to join Whitebeard's crew. But Whitebeard doesn't want to have him because he's too much of a wild card. And they try to sneak away in the dead of night. But Odin pretty much tries to drag himself along with the ship. So Whitebeard is all, if you can survive for three days, I'll let you join. So they they pretty much, and Izo hangs on to him. 
And Whitebeard rather would rather have Ezo on the ship rather than Odin. So they have him taken aboard and they kind of have him bound up for the time being until Odin either lose or succeeds in the challenge issue by Whitebeard. So Odin is dragged through so many waters. He's getting munched on by fish. He sleeps most of the time, half the time. He's like holding on to the chain, but he's still holding, he's still sleeping. And he gets dragged through dangerous waters. He gets dragged through ice and frozen waters. He's literally beaten up for three days. And on a certain island, we see a Matsuki Toki, who would later become Lady Toki, we already know. Who's about to be, who's, you know, being kind of ransacked by some human traffickers. And Odin makes his way to shore, having let go of the chain because he heard someone crying. He said, I heard a woman crying for help. But uh, that three-day beating took its toll on his body, and he's swollen up from the massive beating he took. Of course, in the next day, he's back to his normal size. And he's surprised to see Toki there. And she wants, and he says he comes from Wano. Toki wants to go to Wano. He has a disgusted look on his face like, Ugh, I just came back from there. I don't want to go back. And then it gets to the point where the human traffickers come back, where we run up against Captain Karma, who we know would later join Whitebeard's crew. And Whitebeard's crew or his alliance. And they try to go after, you know, Odin and Toki. But Whitebeard makes his presence known and just defeats Karma. And Odin says, okay, come along with us for an adventure of a lifetime, brother. So Odin joins them. And Toki joins as well, though Whitebeard is kind of off put by it. Because, you know, like, uh, why are you here? So they go through all their adventures. Odin sees so many different islands. A frozen one where he's frozen solid. A desert one or a super hot island where he's literally running on fire. I don't know how that's possible. But then again, it's one piece. Anything is possible. And he's writing and he's writing about all the places he's been. The power, the adventure, the places, the animals, the plants. Anything can happen. And he's writing in his own journal about all that he's seeing. And then... It cuts to Buggy and Shanks reading the newspaper of how Odin's adventure is pretty much making headlines rather than the Roger Pirates. And Roger is reading this new paper as well, and he's saying, So an ice, a samurai escaped from that isolated country. I want to meet him. So now, Roger wants to meet Odin. So not only do we see a little bit of the adventure of Whitebeard and Odin, but now we're going to see the adventures of Roger and Odin. And then I figure, and another key thing is how Toki says that she's only 26 years old. She's literally a year younger than me, but she comes from 800 years in the past. So she is well past the point of the void century. So who knows what she could have seen in her travels jumping forward through time. So Whitebeard has Odin and now Roger wants to meet him. Who knows how this meeting is going to go down? Whether the Roger Pirates clash with the Whitebeard Pirates and Odin decides to join up with the Roger Pirates. But I feel like as we go through these adventures with Odin, we're eventually going to come up to the point where Orochi... I feel like Orochi... You know, with Odin not being in Wano right now, part of me is believing that with Odin not being there, Orochi is slowly making his moves while Odin is away. Because I feel like the only, I feel like Orochi sees Odin as the one key factor in keeping him from pursuing his ambitions. Even though Orochi wasn't even seen in this chapter, I feel like with Odin being away, Orochi has a lot more leeway and a lot more room to maneuver and, you know, snake his way into all sorts of different things. So when we get back to Wano, I feel we may see Orochi team up with Kaido, I feel like we're going to see that interaction of how those two meet each other. We may not. I have no idea. We're going on break next week, so we can't find out next week. But I feel like when Odin finally returns to Wano, we are going to see either what he's been doing or the start of what he's been doing, and then that will pretty much lead up to the moment where Kinemon and the Nine Scout and the, all the rest of them are sent into the future. And then the events of what happens leading up to Odin's usurpation. 
of by Orochi we get to see all that happen but th that's just theories for another time we'll talk about that more during our uh well, during our reflections tomorrow because tomorrow is the final day last day of november and after that we're going to be moving into december the last month of the year wow it's a lot to think about but you guys let me know what you thought of this chapter as a whole with that being said hope you all enjoyed can't wait to see you all in the next video and have a fantastic day i hope you guys all had a good thanksgiving probably should have said that at the start but you know it is what it is. Hope y'all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in the next videos. Have a fantastic day. Once again, as always, later, peoples.